Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Today's coach, a 2003 38-foot PKD, so go online, go to the Holiday Rambler website, PKD uh, Holiday Rambler Imperial. Great coach, 2003 model, 68,000 miles, full body paint. Uh, this coach is going to drive like a Lincoln Town car. It's, it's powered by an ISL 400 horse motor. Um, in 2003, they were building superb product. Uh, it's a Monaco chassis, so it's a Roadmaster chassis. Um, Michelin tires, double slide, um, toppers on, on both slide outs, side radiator, 7.5 um, quiet diesel generator. I don't know if this is open. Back behind here is going to be all of your, um, all your circuitry and your components for your uh, electrical system on the coach. You've got a fuel tank here. It's a dual fuel fill, so you can fill from either side, either the passenger side or the driver's side of the coach. You've got storage base. I'm not going to go through all of these. There's your fresh water tank there with a low point drain on it. Here's the storage bay here with a Joey bed. That's your forward storage area. Here's another, your uh, second bay, full pass through. No Joey bed in that. So it gives you an idea of the kind of storage you got. I'll, um, show you some of these other areas as well. There's a wet bay. You can use some of that for wet stuff. Um, you've got a sewer hose over there on the other side. Your water manifolds right here. Fresh or your um, water pumps right there. Notice your water lines. Blue being cold, red being hot. It's an easy way to isolate water issues. Here's your wet bay here. You've got uh, black tank. Um, gray tank and fresh water tank dump valve there. So you hook your sewer hose up here. Black tank flush, uh, city water fills all located in that area. Side docking lights on each side of the coach so you, when you throw that baby in reverse and you're backing into a spot, it lights up the sky and you can see what you're doing. Side radiator, very important if, um, if you're a gearhead and you like working on your motor. 50 amp service here. A lot of people perceive um, a, a side radiator to be a better value. It does cost more money to do that because you got to engineer in a radiator over on the side, move some stuff around. Nice clean engine compartment. It's got a K&N filter on it. This guy's kind of a gearhead. He's done some maintenance to this or some modifications to this thing. It probably runs like a like a top. ISL motor, great motor, uh, 10,000 pound hitch. He's got air plumbed into the back, so if you want to run um, air brakes to a trailer, you can. ISL 400. Backup camera, a couple more lights up there to really light things up when you're going, when you're in reverse, backing up. A ladder, get up on your roof. It's a one piece fiberglass roof area. Got a vent here that indicates that there is, in fact, a washer dryer on in the inside of the coach. This area here is your battery disconnect switches. See here, you've got your house and chassis right here. Power on, power off. They're nice, heavy duty, marine grade. Uh, not only wire, but switches. They're nice sized. And all your circuitry and some of your solenoids are there. Battery compartment here. Both of them are on slide-out trays. And the important thing that I can't emphasize enough is, is when you're looking at a coach and a customer brings it in and you're going to sell it, one of the first things I look at is batteries. If they've taken the time to uh, make sure that the batteries are, are in good shape and good condition, chances are they've done a good job with the uh, maintenance issues that you and I can't see in the motorhome. So anyway, uh, very important point. Uh, nice size Gerard awning starts here, goes all the way down to uh, the entry door of the coach. You've got your black and gray tanks are here. This is a, probably a 1500 watt Xantrex inverter. Um, hot water heaters here, reefer compartment, furnace is here. This is the exhaust going off in your furnace right now because it's cold here. So we got the furnace running on the inside of the motorhome. Pass through storage here. Joey bed with pass through storage there. 
So you've got a lot of um, storage space in this coach. It's 38 feet long, it's not 40. So those of you that don't want a 40 foot coach, you want the big motor, the side radiator, the full body paint, um, dual fuel fills, big wheels and tires, uh, this is your coach. It's a great motorhome. And remember one thing, the bigger the wheels and tires, the better the drive. Outside um, access, so this is your security system here. This is a 2003 Imperial 38 PKD. So if you Google that online, it'll show you a schematic drawing of what we're about to see. Monaco um, cockpit area, backup cameras here. Um, all your controls for your heating and AC are over here. Six-speed Allison transmission, uh, generator in-out switch here. This coach should have a 7.5 um, Onan generator. Um, you've got uh, your jack systems right here. It's got air leveling on it, which is a nice feature to have. And the travel in these air leveling systems is anywhere, it's about four to six inches. So if you've got a covered area that you want to pull this into, um, keep in mind whatever the overall height of this coach is, and it's probably like 11, 9, might be 12 feet, I'm guessing. Anyway, you got four to six inches of travel, so if you dump the air in this coach, that's what you're going to gain, or uh, you know, it's going to affect the height of your coach. Storage space there. No TV here. It's a nice feature as far as I'm concerned. I'm about 6'4", this is probably, you know, 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Storage space over here, this coach has a satellite system on it. Um, storage space there, here's all your satellite stuff, you got a Magnavox, uh, VCR, Sony Blu-ray player, Dish Network, WineGuard satellite system. Um, so I would assume that with these additions and upgrades that your satellite system probably works, but I'm not going to swear to you. The TV's right here on the wall, so they modified this a little bit. Nice feature. Um, it's down. It's not in the entryway of the coach. Back here is your, uh, this is your energy management system. This is the control for your um, Gerard power awning on the outside, your box awning. In this compartment is a lot of switches and controls. The most important one, in my opinion, or one of the most, remote gen start system. It's an RC7. This allows you to program your uh, generator to come on at specific time intervals. So if you leave this coach parked in a barn somewhere, you're going to be gone for a month. With those new batteries down there, it's important to keep them charged. Program this to where your battery or your, your generator comes on once or twice a week. <laughs> That'll keep your batteries up and or if you're down in the desert somewhere and it's hot and you're out playing golf and you want your coach chilled down at 3 o'clock, program this to kick the ACs on at 2.30. By the time you get here at 3, your coach is nice and cool. Uh, compartment lights, water heater, system heat, tank levels, and then your slide switches are all right here. Here's your control for your um, heat pump and AC. I sh told you about the TV. Here's a flip-up table. When this coach was originally built and delivered, it had a chair right here. They obviously modified this and put the TV down, which is nice. Uh, I just put a couple fire extinguishers in here. Maybe the gentleman that owns this coach was a retired fireman, I don't know, but he's put some uh, fire suppression in uh, key areas in this motorhome. This is uh, stained oak cabinets. They're solid wood all the way through the coach. Lots of space all the way through here, and there's no um, there's no compartments or no um, dividers in here. These are all there's a divider right here, but this is all one solid cabinet here. So you've got plenty of space to put long items if you want. Uh, Corian back bar, <coughs> excuse me, a table that does not lift out. It actually collapses. And this sits somewhere in here, like this. Don't ask me how this works. Um, but anyway, what I like about this table, now that I found out about it, is you can pull these chairs out, and this table drops down and out of your way. Got storage space back here. 
storage space behind this uh, piano hinge table here. Four door refrigerator freezer with an ice maker right here. Happens to be a Norcold. Moving across here into the kitchen area. Nice spice area here. Low cabinets in here. Put nice sized casserole dishes, uh, skillets if you want to. Molded deep <coughs> a Corian sink on both sides. So you get a lot of working space to prepare food. Two burner cooktop right here. Easy to keep clean, wipe it clean. It's gas. Um, and really, you don't need more than two burners. I can't imagine somebody having three pots of things going at one time. That'd be a real difficult for me. Difficult thing for me to do. I can only do one pot at a time. Multitasking is not my uh, forte. Microwave convection microwave oven here. Space here. Cabinet space again across here. This sofa is a magic bed, so this lifts out. This flops over and flops down. It's a real comfortable area. It's a seamless um, mattress area for grandchildren or smaller children, if that's what you want to do. Nice size pantry here. Pulls out. Provides you with a lot of storage space. Cabinets down below here. Series of drawers here and a nice area to put a waste paper basket back in here. We come in on carpet, we go into tile, we come back here into the bathroom area. We've got a nice sized shower with a skylight here. They put some non-slip uh, tape in the shower area here. You don't have to worry about slipping and sliding around. Towel space, three more drawers down here. A place to hang your towels here. Um, fantastic fan here with a rain sensor. And then we move here into the bathroom area. You've got a sink, <coughs> excuse me, a medicine cabinet, and of course a toilet with another uh, fan here to ventilate this area. There's a lot of steam and stuff going on in here. You want to evacuate that um, steam and storage space there. Then you move out of here and you move back into the bedroom area, you've got nice hanging space here with a couple more drawers. Cabinets across the head of the bed there and over into here. <clears throat> nice deep cabinets. King size bed and the easiest way for you to tell if you're looking at these coaches, especially Monaco's, you see you have a nightstand here you don't have a nightstand there because it's offset. If this was a queen size bed, you would have another nightstand right there at the base of that shirt ward. You don't, it's offset, so it's a king size bed. Um, you've got closet space again back here across the back of the coach. Access to your engine if you need to get in there. Another flat screen TV and the washer dryer that I mentioned earlier. This is a great coach. It's in good shape. It's a 2003 Holiday Rambler Imperial 38 PKD powered by a 400 horse uh, ISL Cummins engine, side radiator, da da da. Nice coach, great value. This coach will drive like a Lincoln Town Car. Um, it's really well made in its day, solid wood cabinets. Very dependable, very reliable. You can tow a lot with it. Go out and enjoy it. We work hard for our money. It's time to go out and enjoy ourselves. My name is Tyler McAllister. I'm with RV Sales of Oregon. We're located in Eugene on Highway 99. We're about 10 minutes from the Eugene Airport. We have a great service department and we have a couple nice sales guys too. So anyway, give me a call. Contact me however you want to. Uh, come see us. RV Sales of Oregon. Thank you.